Hi folks, Don Rolly here with a video blog this week. <clears throat> I want to address a lot of ignorance going around about the use of lethal force. There's a lot of loud, ignorant people posting and talking and writing articles. I want to challenge them and tell them to admit their ignorance and just shut up if you don't know what you're talking about. Now we're all ignorant about something. Ignorant in itself is not an insult. I am ignorant about how to draw, how to fix vehicles. Of course, I don't fix vehicles. I don't tell people how to fix vehicles. I don't tell other people that the way they fixed a vehicle is wrong. If it breaks down immediately, obviously it is, but I'm not going to get into that detail. <clears throat> now, if you don't know something, you shouldn't really say anything until you know the facts. Unfortunately, we live in a society where we can say all we want. For years, if you had asked me about no-kill shelters for animals, I might have said, yes, they're a good thing. I might have even signed a petition or voted for a law saying that you know we should make all animal shelters no-kill shelters. Now I know a veterinarian, know a couple people in the business, and they basically tell me that there are worse things in death, and no-kill shelters are one of them. Well, I didn't know, now I do, and I'm glad I didn't say anything when I didn't know. Unfortunately, again, people can sign petitions, people can vote for politicians promising to change things, and this is where we're getting to, where the ignorant are outnumbering the people that know things. The people that are truly competent are sitting back saying, well, maybe I should just wait till I know all the facts. The idiots are just spouting all over Facebook and their blogs or whatever about what's going on. So, if you are coming into this thing, yes, they should just shoot them in the leg, well, you're ignorant. If you loudly say that, then you probably have a lot of ego vested in just saying, well, whatever Don says, I'm going to come up with another argument to say that this was not true. That's a problem with, pe with people making public stances that are completely wrong. They rarely admit that fact because they have so much ego invested in it. Now, if you're someone that's just wondering, well, why don't they shoot people in the legs? You probably have an open mind, so you might want to keep watching. Now, the reason why police and other people do not shoot people in the legs or anything like that is that this is what's known as a lethal weapon or deadly weapon, okay? This is a deadly weapon. Now, basically what that means is that you can kill people with a lot of things, you know, a car, a stick, you know, even if you drink 30 gallons of water at once, that can kill you. But guns and other things like them are meant to kill. You use them to kill other people. And you shouldn't use them in situations where you should not kill them. Uh, let me kind of illustrate a point. Why don't they just shoot them in the leg? The guy broke into your house, he's running down the street. You know, you don't want him to get away, so you shoot him in the leg. Well, obviously, you're not justified in killing him. He's not a threat to your life, so the killing threat is not up there. So you shoot him in the leg, but you miss. You shoot him in the back. You shoot him in the heart, he dies. Or you shoot him in the leg, you hit the femoral artery, and he bleeds out before the ambulance can get there. Now, anything can happen. You know, If you grab him and tackle him, he could fall down and hit his head, head on the pavement, die on the spot. That has happened. But with things like this, the possibility rises a lot. So there's really two reasons why you do not use a gun to wound somebody or anything like that other than kill them. One is legal, the other is practical. Again, legally, you do not use a deadly weapon when deadly force is not authorized. If you use a deadly weapon to try to shoot somebody in the leg or something like that, and you admit it, you have just admitted that it deadly force was not authorized. You did not think that your only option on the table now was kill or be killed. You had more options, but yet you use something that can only be used when it's kill or be killed. This is a problem with martial artists that carry around knives. I once actually had a conversation with a guy who taught a class here in Colorado Springs, and I asked him, what do you do for legal stuff? And he said, oh, I do that. I tell my students that if they ever have to stab somebody or, or, or slash them, that when the police talk to them, tell them that they didn't try to kill them, they slash their hands. Maybe you're seeing the problem there. 
you know, in that situation, you know, if someone's coming at you with a baseball bat and you go, ah, and you slash their arm, they drop the baseball bat, they're, la they're no longer a threat to you, fine, don't stab them to death at that point because they're not a threat to you. The problem is that if the police come along and say, well, what happened? He said, well, I defanged the snake and made him drop the, the baseball bat. Now you're in trouble. It's a messed up situation, but again, they don't want people shooting people in the legs, trying to run away from a robbery and having them accidentally die. So they put these kind of rules in place. So you can't use a firearm to just stop somebody in the shoulder, shoot the gun out of their hand. Oh God, try that. Honestly, any of you idiots that say, why don't they just shoot him in the head, in the, well, in the legs, or shoot that gun out of their hands, or shoot them here so they can't do anything. How many of you stupid mothers have ever even fired a firearm? Which kind of leads me to point two, the practical reason why you don't shoot somebody in the leg or something like that. It's hard to hit a moving target, a struggling target. John Shaw said once that the, uh, the figures for the Los Angeles Police Department shooting is that only one in four of their shots of the police shoot actually hit anywhere on the target. The other three miss. And they're hitting center mass, which is the easiest thing to hit. The bad guys, fortunately, have uh, it's like one in ten. So uh, it's harder to hit something even when you're going for the biggest target. If you try to hit someone in the leg, you know, well, Okay, that's even harder. If someone is running at you with a knife and you try to shoot them in the leg and you miss, well, obviously they're going to reach you. Well, probably going to reach you. There's even a chance that if you hit them in the leg, they won't stop anyways. Now, if someone is running at you with a knife, yes, you have justification for lethal force. So you use the gun. Well, you should use a gun. You know, Nowadays, uh, people are kind of being stupid about it. But that's the reason why. If you have to use a gun, it's because the only option for you is really to kill or be killed. Now, if there's a way to resolve it without that, but if, then that's fine. But if someone's trying to kill you, then you've got that force on deck, ready to go, and when you shoot, it's gotta be center mass for the, both the legal and the practical reasons. Now, if you've seen this and you're saying, oh, okay, I didn't know that, well, now you know. I want to uh, emphasize right here, there's probably a lot more about lethal force encounters that you don't know. I've talked about, you know, different scales, stuff like that. I really want people out there, if you don't know the subject, please just shut up. Okay? Now, I have gone through a course that certified me as an NRA instructor in self-defense. I have got a friend on speed dial who is an expert witness in lethal force. I have talked and trained with people that train police officers as well as police officers. Okay, I don't really say that this is wrong or this is right. The simple fact is that in the last 10 years, there's been one video of a police shooting that I looked at and said, yeah, cop screwed. My friend looked at and said, yeah, cop screwed. My police friend said, yeah, cop screwed. And the legal system ultimately went out and said, yeah, cops screwed, and he went to jail. Every other case that I studied, I looked at things and said, nope, decent shoot. Everyone on Facebook, everyone in the Huffington Post was like, no, 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 he should have did this, he should have done that. When it got to the legal system, they were let off. This should tell you something. It's not that you, know, you are right and the legal system is wrong in these cases. It's that there's something that you don't know yet. If you did not know about why people don't shoot other people in the leg, there's a lot of other things you probably don't know about. So, either start research. I would suggest someone like Masad Ayub's uh, Use of Fourth Lethal Institute, or just be quiet and try to, you know, let other people who are probably idiots scream about it. I hope this wakes some people up and realize that you are ignorant. You don't have to stay ignorant, but please don't be so freaking loud when you are an ignorant little bitch. Thank you.